Now, tributes have been paid today to the actor Dean Sullivan, who's died at the age of 68. He was best known, of course, to millions of soap fans as Brookside's Jimmy Corkill. And in a moment, we're going to chat to Phil Redmond, his friend and Brookie's creator, of course, who originally only expected Dean to be in the show for an episode or two. Well, Dean was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018. He was a campaigner for Prostate UK, encouraging men to get checked for signs of the illness. Phil McCann has been looking back on his life. From the mid-80s... I have never worked so hard in all my life! ..to the very end. Yeah, it's fine. I've told you, stop worrying. Never mind about me. Dean Sullivan's Jimmy Corkill was Brookside's longest-serving character and the last to star in the show when it was axed in 2003. For a penny, eh? Jimmy, like the show, broke boundaries with storylines on drug abuse, his mental health and organised crime. But somehow, to his audience, he always managed to be likeable and endearing. Hey, listen, do you reckon there's anyone here from any of those fancy papers? I don't give a damn. A man's a total miscreant, if ever there was one. He was yeah, a real no, I... Jack the Lad on, yeah, a likeable rogue is what I would say. Just a real character, he was a scallywag. <laughs> and that's what I liked about him. No, very outgoing character. And, of course, he was responsible for one of the most famous scenes in the history of British soaps. Ah! What? Daddy? The body under the patio. What is it? And even when, um, with, say, the mental health issues, even when it was not mentioned in the script, I would still play that as an actor because he was diagnosed with bipolar and if you're diagnosed with bipolar, you've got it for life. He joined Brookside in 1986 as an occasional character and went on to become a fixture of the show and a symbol for some of the issues that Jimmy faced. At its peak, Brookside would regularly pull in nine million viewers. And just this year, Dean was reunited with Sue Jenkins, his on-screen wife Jackie, and his daughter in the show, Lindsay, played by Claire Sweeney. Today on X Twitter, she wrote, Love you and we'll miss you, Dean. So glad we got to be together as a family one last time. As for his life after Brookside, well, he was given a British Soap Award for Outstanding Achievement the year the show ended. He starred on other TV shows and had a radio show on City Talk across Merseyside. Last year, he filmed a new short film for Netflix. And this year, Dean was due to star in Panto at the Atkinson Theatre in Southport, but he pulled out two weeks ago due to ill health. In truth, there was no one better to end Brookside. No one better with a trademark wink to mark the end of an era. Brookside's creator, Sir Phil Redmond, is here with me on the sofa. Thank you so much for coming in and our condolences, because I know Dean not only was a colleague, but also was, was a good friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said in the introduction to Phil's report, you only expected him to be in for an episode and a half, you were saying. <laughs> Why did you keep him? Um, yeah, well, he was only in the one and a half episodes to help Billy Corker move in. He was supposed to be his brother who was helping him in. And I just saw it in the rough cut and saw this guy and uh, Damon and his friends were walking past. And it's quite a classic uh, Scouse thing. Hey, mate, what are you doing there? Like, and it's just the way he turned around and said to them, see that? Keep it out. You know, right? <laughs> and it's just the way he put it across. And I thought, oh, that guy's great. Let's keep him. And then went to the writers and said, you know, we, Billy's brother... Is someone we should develop because he was almost like the archetypical. I mean, in your package, one of the ladies, they said he's a scallywag and he was a Jack the Lad. I mean, that was, that was it, wasn't it? And even in the dark side, when we went in the dark side, he took us to so many comedic moments. You know, that was the other, the other fantastic thing about him. Was that, was that his, his great skill? I mean, to, to, to keep somebody in a soap for such a long time, you know. Yeah, well, I think it's. it's it's quite a thing, isn't it, to, for an actor to keep that role and keep it fresh? Yeah, well, he was such... Someone used the phrase about an iconic actor, and that's a very wide, wide phrase, but the thing about Dean was that he was just so professional about what he did. He took it so seriously. And he was a great role model for everybody, you know, on the floor, whether it was young actors or young directors or whatever. And, you know, the point he made in the package about when he was diagnosed in the programme as a character with bipolar, he carried that with him. And that is one of the biggest jobs that soap actors have to do, you know, because you're changing their lives over 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And, you know, he never wavered in that, you know, and he, was, and he got what the programme was about. Mm. And the other thing about him, like, he's... You know, we got closer and closer over the years because he also shared my 
I don't know, some disrespectful, mischievous <laughs> sense of humour to authority, we'll say, you know. And I could always rely on Dean, you know, if I needed someone to go out and talk about the show, you know, mm. or to talk about what we were trying to do. Dean got it. He knew exactly what we were trying to do. And that thing about it, when he had prostate cancer, mm. and, you know, he went and he talked publicly about having it and making the point that if you, no matter what the problem, really, no matter what you, you, you're coming up against, there's always some help you can find, mm. you know. Well, to talk about his prostate cancer work in a moment, but he, he was a primary school teacher, I think, before he well, became yeah. an actor. Did, yeah. did having a, quote-unquote, normal job and a normal <laughs> life, did that help make him the yeah. actor that he was? Yeah, he also, he, he had that kind of uh, pedagogical sort of, like, uh, discipline about sort of wanting to know more and more into the subject, you know, and yeah. also how you engage people in the subject and how you get across the, you know, the intent behind the, the storylines. Uh, yeah, and he had, all, he had all that. And, of course, he was... Um, yeah, he was just such a regular around the place. And um, watching that package, it brought back so many memories <laughs> and seeing Claire there, you know. And yeah. You were smiling all the way through it, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you mentioned the prostate cancer work. I mean, he did so much to try and raise awareness to help help other men. And I, I know you, you saw him just at the weekend, didn't you, in, in hospital, and he's still got that glint in his eye, even though he was so poorly. Yeah, well, I mean, Alexis and I were, were close to Dean and, and, and we got the call from, you know, the... the, the the wider family, really, that he was ill. And um, so we managed just to get across to the Arrow Park on Monday mm. and see him. And he was very poorly then and everything. But we managed to get a smile out of him, a smile <laughs> of recognition. And I got my hands, you know, I got a hand squeeze off him, you know, and all that. And I just told me back to find out I'd always know he'd be shouting from behind me, hey, boss, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be there and he'd always know, he'd always say to me, I, when you did such and such thing, you were going to do so and so, weren't you? You know, <laughs> <laughs> he always he was always able to get one, two steps ahead of me. You know, so it was a, it was, sounds it was like really good to be there at that moment. You know, to, to see. He to sounds see. like a, a real character. Mm. Um, Phil, yeah. thank you so much for coming, and we really do appreciate it. I know you've had a busy day, and uh, we're yeah. grateful to you coming in to talk to us. Uh, yeah. Sir Phil Redman, creator of Brookside, talking there about his his friend uh, Dean Sullivan, who we'll all remember, of course, as Jimmy Corkill. Now, 12 people, including a 16-year-old boy, have been arrested in police raids in connection with a mass brawl between rival football fans.